So today is still Wednesday, March 15th. <laughs> I just made a little video about tech. There's been a lot of ideas that have been rolling around in my head the last many weeks of things that I wanted to talk about, but I just get so busy sometimes I don't have time. Now I'm parked at a parking lot at a gas station and I got a little time. So I'm gonna, gonna talk about a few things. People keep talking about the landing, the landing, right? So uh, is it a soft landing? Is it a hard landing? But I think the important thing that has to be remembered right now is that we still haven't landed at all. Uh, I, the way that I like to think about it, the, the metaphor that I find is very appropriate is a glider. You know, you have these, these cool gliders, you know, they got the huge wingspan, they fly around, and there's two things that keep a glider up in the air, inertia and momentum, and then thermals, right? You know, like these glider uh, pilots are flying around looking for this, these, these, you know, pockets of hot air rising up from the ground to keep this sucker, you know, gliding through the air. Well, thermals can be considered monetary and fiscal policy because that's what pushes up from below. That's what helps that glider to create lift is this warm air. Well, there's no more warm air. Thermals are gone. My, uh, interest rates are rising. Liquidity is being pulled out of the system. And there's really no crazy fiscal policy right now. I know that there's some money being thrown around in certain areas for the Inflation Reduction Act. But how much that really moves the needle of the entire economy, it's hard to say. So the thermals are gone. The hot air is gone. So what are we talking about now? What's keeping us flying in the air? is is inertia momentum and right now there's still a tremendous amount of momentum in the economy as seen in the jobs market uh, the greatest problem is inflation is that people's purchasing power has been dramatically reduced by the cost of goods and services so the question is how long can we keep flying when do we land how do we land one of the things that I hear a lot when I listen to, you know, the news is that economists and investors that I listen to, many of them tend to take what's happening in the present and extrapolate what's going to happen in the future by what's happening in the present. So everybody sees these strong job, job numbers, this, this strong consumer, this strong economy. I don't think that's a testament to us having a soft landing. I think that's a testament to inertia and momentum. But here's the thing. Once that inertia and momentum runs out, we start to come down. And, and as you know, in an airplane, once you start to lose lift, you fall. And you fall fast. Um, in my industry, my industry that's involved in manufacturing mostly, but also construction to a lesser extent, as interest rates rise, uh, the incentive to go out and build a new building, build a new high rise, or to uh, you know engage on this new fabrication project or build this new thing, uh, starts to become diminished as the cost of capital goes up, right? Interest rates go up, it becomes more expensive to borrow money then you're, dis, you're, you're less incentivized to go out and spend on these projects. One of the things that I hear a lot in my industry is backlog, backlog, backlog. There are things that are being built now that have been being built for years. There are things that are being uh, fabricated now, or there are uh, fabrication shops that are working off long backlogs um, that have built that built up over uh, you know the the frenzy uh, that that existed you know around COVID because of all the hot air, right? All of that monetary and fiscal policy. What's gonna happen, I think, is that these projects are not just going to just taper off. They're all of a sudden just gonna hit a wall. So I think the landing will be a hard landing, but it's, it's, it, but we're not gonna realize that people are gonna be going soft landing, soft landing, soft landing, until the minute the hard landing punches us right in the face. And I think that's gonna come sometime the end of this year, the beginning of the next year, as this collider loses inertia, loses lift and comes crashing down into the ground. 
Now at that point, here's the, here's the tricky part. At that point, the Federal Reserve could normally crush rates, bring them down. The housing market would come flaming back. People would start building commercial properties and, and within two or three quarters, we would be back rocking and rolling. Here's the problem. The Fed has a dual mandate, price stability and growth, right? What if inflation doesn't come down by the end of this year or the beginning of next year? What happens? You can't lower rates. So I, here's the, ultimately I think that if that when the economy starts to slow, the prices of things will come down rapidly. Um, now housing I think is going to be sticky. The prices of housing I think is gonna be sticky. Food will come down. Energy's already starting to come down. Uh, food is probably gonna start heading lower soon in my opinion. Uh, and, and cars, cars should come down. Housing, again, I think housing is going to be sticky, but that's a whole nother video. But point is, everybody else likes to give their, uh, uh, you know, prognostications of what's going to happen in the future. That's mine. I think we're going to get a hard landing. It's going to happen fast, and it's going to be at the end of this year or the beginning next one. Everybody, good luck to all. Uh, I hope everybody makes money. Stay safe out there.